Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at a variety of different rovers, and we're going to be testing out their performance. Now on the far right here, we have a fully tracked variant with four sets of tracks. Now these tracks work a little bit differently than ones you've seen before. We'll come around this side on the light, and we can actually see we've got a chain-based mod in the center, and connected to that are these rubber wheels, so these should add a lot of friction, a lot of grip for these tracks to traverse at pretty much any surface surface they come across. Now in the center, as a baseline test, we've got our standard truck and we know the capabilities of this thing. It pulled that absolutely massive road train up that sort of slope in a previous video, so we know it's quite capable and it also possesses the speed that these track variants don't. Now in this far corner, we have a combination of the best of the both worlds, you could say. We've got tracks at the back, wheels at the front. And we've also got the same sort of track sort of structure. Now what's going to be interesting to see how they can actually perform at climbing this hill. Now we know the speed, we know that these track ones are going to be pretty slow. So I'm not going to bother testing that, we're just going to try getting them up the slope. So first up, we have the standard sort of truck. I'm going to try getting it up that slope. So we've got six wheels, we've got quite a lot of friction added to these wheels as well. So we'll try approaching it from a little bit of an angle. And it looks like the bumper and the wheel has already come off, showing the sensitivity of them wheels. So we'll give it another go, even though we've lost a wheel. Maybe I just took it a little bit too hard there. But there we go. We're just not climbing that. Maybe the bumper's too far in the way. We'd have to build a design with less sort of frontal structure. But I think the bunker actually protects a lot of that truck as it approaches but let's switch out we know this is not going to work let's try getting into the half track now i've got high hopes for this thing we're combining the wheels at the front that add us a little bit of speed and grip so if we activate number one you'll notice this one's faster than the track version when we swap over to it shortly because we've got the wheel pulling us along and you can see the wheels actually turning the tracks helping them to maneuver into position just like a standard sort of world war ii army one you'd see so the idea here is that the tracks will keep pushing the wheel up the hill, even though the wheel is losing grip, losing friction. So we can actually see here, turn the wheels a little bit, see if we can get any friction and grip. And it seems to be working quite well at the moment. Let's see if we can get up the rest of this slope. So this is quite a sort of 45 degree slope, maybe a little bit steeper than that. Okay, so the wheels have got to this point and they seem to be getting stuck on this rocky area. The tracks are still trying to push. Let's give it a little bit of a wiggle to see if we can help it out here. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're actually getting any further, but it did a lot better than the standard sort of wheeled version, and we still had the same sort of bumper on the front. The tracks just really helped it to overcome that bit of terrain, so we're just sliding now. We're not really getting any further, but this half track, just, it looks so sexy. Anyway, let's transfer over to the final variant with all the tracks. We'll turn this off as well, so we don't actually have a load of problems. So lock that and put the parking brake on, and we'll head over to the tracked variant. Now, the tracked variant acts a little bit like a tractor, as you'd expect. We'll turn it on, and to turn right or left, we've got these simple sort of controls. So we press number four, and it reverses the right set of tracks. You can see there, reversing them, and that is rotating us into position to actually try and climb that slope. And since I know this one's going to do pretty well, we'll attempt to climb the most steep part there. So disactivate that, and we're actually traveling forward. Now the problem I see with these track variants, even though they have great off-road performance, You've got to deal with all that shaking and noise in the back, as well as if you're on a planet's surface, moving at a snail's pace might not be the best idea, especially if you want to try escaping someone. You'd make yourself a massive target in one of these track-based rovers. You could try a smaller design, though. So we're actually coming up to the point of contact. Wheels are trying to grip on. The track's torque is actually just pushing us up the slope, even though our sort of mud guards are in the way. This is going to be a steep angle. This I don't know if we're going to actually be able to climb it or not. So the back area is doing well. We're stuck on the mud guard at the rear. Let's give it a little bit of a help. We're going to have to adjust the tracks ever so slightly. Because Aaron's chose a, a pretty much ridiculous area to climb up, I think. Okay, I don't think any vehicle would be, be able to do this. Yeah, let's, so let's bring it a little bit over to the right or left. I think the left's going to work well. We'll adjust the tracks. We'll get one reversing. And we're actually going to bring ourselves down a little bit. And we'll attempt to climb that bit where we lost the wheel on the other side. Okay, good stuff. Activate the track again, so we should be spinning forward. And we'll attempt to climb up this area at more of a diagonal angle. We might have to push the other truck out the way a little bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we've got the grip we need, and we're starting to push up. If this thing is pretty much unstoppable when it gets going, and when it has a nice path of grip. So, yeah, there we go. You see the lumps. Each one of them wheels as it breaks down into the terrain and tries to crawl over it, just pulling each of the other wheels up over it as well. Wow, look at that. Machinery at its finest. Breaking terrain. I think what we could do, though, is add it a little bit of a pivot or sort of a spring-based joint for each of the wheels on the track. So it makes it a little bit more smoother for the pilot in hand. Let's have a look in the cockpit. 
Oh, that's cool. Look at that as we're just climbing up over the hill. Legs in front of us, relaxed out, knowing our vehicle can perform. And there we go, we've reached it to the top. So one of the only three vehicles that made it to the top due to the track sort of design. Anyway, we'll spin it around and I'll bring it down the hill. So say you fancy a little bit of a challenge while building your rovers, tracks might just be for you. I and mean, it looks like we might even collide here. Okay, just turn the tracks off, see if we can slow us down a little bit. Okay, we don't really don't want to climb over the top of the other truck, but we're kind of doing it now. Oh, no, this is not going well at all. We're going to roll over to the left here. I knew that was going to happen. Right, so so tracks are perfect for as long as you're climbing rocks and not other trucks. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.